Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're continuing on with some more dot hack to you volume two. We are three levels away from max level. Let's finish this. Okay, this one. We don't need a dungeon. And we get a field. Yes we can. I want daytime. And once we finish leveling up, we will progress in the story. Come over here, why not? Chance of a king, which why not? We got lucky that one time. Alright, so we will need the sword. You're open! I mean, the scythe looks too for the new SPUs. Oh, hit the microphone. Sorry about that. Oh, okay, that's how that works. Interesting. 2018, that was a good year. All the treasure chests are right there. Okay, that was interesting. What the line? I wonder why. You're not getting away. Oh, it's after they die in general. Huh, I kind of like that. Here goes. Did I seriously take no damage from that? Did I see that right? No damage? Interesting. It does work for that. <laughs> okay, I don't really need that at all, honestly. Who cares? Who cares? Don't panic. Um, bull must have fixed it then for that, but whatever. This is a piece of cake. I heard. Here it is. There is Mr. Fate Worm. Cool. Don't panic. I didn't even 
break a sweat. <sighs> I won't lose. This is so easy. Two levels to go. Bring it on! Ow, that hurt. Really? One more to go. Watch the oh, yeah. Hurricane Razor. Nice. Alright. One more level to go. And then the rest of a thousand to go. Or a hundred. But that one doesn't really matter. So who cares? Keep him pinned against the wall. Got some new armor, but does it really matter what it is? Probably not. Nope. <laughs> it does not matter. Is it the best shit in the game? Alright, now for the boss. Actually, is there any more enemies I can fight? Just to go ahead and get, you know, max level. Oh, I see my compartment. Nice. Guess I'll go ahead and do this. I remember this. Hey, bro! Be a bud! Whoa, 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 whoa. Skip that. Okay, here's some more fights. I'll crush you! I don't think so. Too easy. Welcome level up, nice. Okay, that's not sitting right by. Nope. Nope, not sitting right. Why headphones? Why must you not sit right? I swear. Nope. Come on now. Just go on my ears and sit right, please. Go with the Don't understand this crap. <coughs> now come here.
we're close. We're very, very close. We just needed one more Rengeki. However, that thing will get us there. You're not getting away. You're a dick, you know this? Switch back to the Demon Awakening because it is the best one. That one only does a quarter of the damage on bosses, not all or half or whatever it is. And we're max level. This one is the best one. Okay. That third one is nice, but. I don't want to kill my, um, control sticks, so, yeah. Because these things are cheaply made. Even the high dollar ones are just not made well. They cost, uh, like, 60 bucks or 100 bucks, but they're made with cheap parts. How the control sticks themselves are two cents. When they could easily put a dollar ten in them. That's why they break so easily. No, is it? No, yeah, it's like ten cents. Yeah, not not two cents. Like they they spend like ten or twenty cents on the control sticks, which is why they break so quick. When they could easily spend a buck ten or more. Young lady, you're gonna fight Siri. I mean, you're gonna fight Ida, aren't you? Yeah. Um, Haseo, I think I should join the match after all. Huh? You're changing your mind? Ever since my epitaph was stolen, Ida has been gaining more and more power. Alcade and Sirius, all the people who became lost ones. It's my fault that they're suffering like they are. If I hadn't had my epitaph stolen, then Bordeaux would never have... I told you, it's not your fault. But I have to do something, Haseo! I can't leave this all up to others! Listen well, young lady. We're about to fight Sirius, who has been infected by Ida. Epitaph users are not invincible. If we lose, even Haseo may not come out of it unscathed. Both Endrance and I are able to use avatars. We're the best choice for this fight. Then tell me, what should I... How about I take over for you? Kuhn! Adelie, I'll go out there in your place. Kuhn? Leave it to me. I'll become your sword and shield. I'll watch Haseo's back in your stead. Kyoto Johnny Young Bosch. Such a great actor. Also, I can't wait for the return of Bleach, the anime. Mmm, that's awesome. Some great news there. Hopefully, he represses his role in that too. Wait a minute. Weren't you finished with GU? Yeah, well, I thought I was. But you know. I just can't leave a delicate young girl when she's in trouble. Seeing as I'm such a gentleman and all. <laughs> delicate? Where do you see a delicate young girl in this group? Hey! To be perfectly honest, 
I still don't agree with how Yada and the CC Corp are handling this whole situation. <laughs> but I realize now that leaving GU isn't going to help change anything. I need to keep fighting and fighting until the world becomes a safe online game again. I know now that's all I can do. And that's why, Haseo, I've decided I'm going to bet on you. You see, Haseo, I always thought you were, how do I put this, too self-centered. Oh. But if you really didn't have any consideration for others, Syllabus and Gaspard would never look up to you like they do. As you are now, you just might have the power and the kindness needed to destroy Ida. That's why I'm placing my abilities in your hands. Kun. What is this? Some special male bonding power thing? Anyway, that's how it is, Pi. I'm sorry, but... You're not going to budge on this, are you? Fine. This delicate young girl will sit back and play support. <laughs> Thanks, Pi. But in exchange, you better defeat them. Got that? Of course. Not only that, we'll heal Adelie, too. That's right. We're gonna heal Adelie. We'll make it so she can laugh in this world once again. I'll invite Kuhn and Endrin. Well, I have a choice. Should I go in there blazing swords or go level Kuhn up? And I'm gonna say go in there blazing swords and if I die, I die. Then I'll know to go level Kuhn up. Because yes. Oh yeah, I'm the healer. Oh, fudge. Eh, whatever. Actually, no, who has, uh, no, 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 no. nope, nope, <laughs> yeah, that's not worth it. I mean, it only heals 350, but, eh, no, it would heal half, so 175. It's not worth it then, never mind. Not worth it. Oh, yeah, we got this. We got this, never mind, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and mute for this whole thing. I will see you guys afterwards. No matter what, we cannot lose this fight. I really want Haseo to lose, but I don't want Master Ren to lose. Master Ren, I don't know what I should do. Huh? This is... A sale? Sakaki. Serious! The brightest star in the galaxy! When the Azure Wolf howls, the Earth shakes, and shocks resound throughout the arena! Tonight we will find out the true weight of the word Emperor! Haseo, Andrus, and Kuhn! They've come here with a whole new lineup! Endrance is a blade brandier, and Kuhn is a steam gunner. A very offensive lineup indeed. Are the challengers nothing more than sheep to the slaughter now? Here comes a champion, Team Sirius! The figure of Sirius gives off an unearthly vibe, and his teammates are pretty creepy themselves!
What's happened to Sirius? Something's changed. His expression looks demonic. So, you all came to steal it too, did you? Well, it's mine. You got that? Mine! 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 Damn. He's totally lost it. He's not much for conversation. Ida is drawn to people's deepest passions, whether they are positive or negative. And then magnifies those feelings? It releases the binds of reason. So then, Sirius's strong attachment to being Emperor was what called Ida to him. Oh! All right, here we go! Sirius's stats are absurd. Is this Ida's influence? There's something weird about that winged guy and naked guy, too. It feels like we're not even damaging them, like we're chasing some kind of mirage. Haseo, I've got the results from Yada's monitor. They say that they're unable to confirm Sirius's teammates' IDs. Then these guys are infected, too. Actually, it's like their characters aren't there and never existed. Like, they're just illusions. Cut to the chase! In other words, those two are immortal. Great, simple as that, huh? What should we do then? What should we do? It's all or nothing. Come on, we're going after Sirius! Got it, Haseo. What do you mean, got it? Focus your attacks on Sirius! There's no way he's just an illusion! Yeah, all right. Forget about the winged man and naked man. Let's go! And that's why I wanted max level. And so is this. That's it! That's the... The Ida that stole Adelie's epitaph? So then, if I defeat it, I really will. Okay now, come on, come on! I'm right here!
Yeah, that was fun. Huh. That was easier than the last one. This is Adelie's? Yes, the epitaph of Innis. Don't worry, you can leave the rest to me. I'll guide it back to her character. Now Adelie should be... Serious. Hmm? Uh, this is Triages. There's two of them? What the hell? has at long last tasted the dust of the arena floor! A new emperor for the Holy Palace is now born! We are witnesses to history! Just now, the two that appeared from the blue light came and defeated the two Idas that were with Sirius, right? Yeah, and they looked exactly the same. Does that mean the winged man and naked man that were paired with Sirius were fakes created by Ida? The real winged man and naked man were friends of Triage, which means that maybe Triage isn't Ida after all. Then again, if those guys are fighting against Ida too, why did Triage go after Shino? So, Haseo has won. Yes, Sakaki. Oh, my hand has all healed. Truly, that was some amazing fighting. A white hot battle worthy of a title match. Team Haseo is climbing the charts at a frightening pace. 
As his master, you must be very proud of a man, Terra. Where did he go? And Terrace, where are you? What? Uh, you've seen enough and you've left? What am I supposed to do with a message like that? Why are all my guests like this? Well done, kid. Haseo, become strong for my sake and for Shino's. I... Haseo... Hey, how's it feel to wake back up? I... Uh, I... I... Why? Why were you paired up with Ida? And with that winged man and naked man? I... I was always afraid. Afraid of losing the Holy Palace Emperor's throne. No kings last forever. When I thought about that, I would always get so scared. That's why I... It was your own weakness that gave Ida the chance they needed. I wanted power. Power that wouldn't lose to anyone. Power to make all bow before me. Yes, it gave me power. Enormous power. Overflowing power. Would you wake up already? It's because of that that Alcade... Alcade? What happened to Alcade? <laughs> Alcade has become a sacrifice. She tried to save you and was PK'd by your power. Her characters vanished and she's become comatose in the real world. Entrance! That power... Alcade... <laughs> that was amazing, Haseo! Congratulations! Bo, thanks. The Ida that fused with the young lady's epitaph was the same one that was controlling Sirius. Her epitaph is the Mirage of Deceit. Her avatar's name is Innes. Mirage? Then what you're saying is that those two immortal guys were literally complete illusions. In other words, the Ida that stole Adelie's epitaph was using that power. Most likely. Now then, what I'd like to know is who those two were that showed up afterwards. Who would have thought others besides Epitaph users could eliminate Ida like that? Come to think of it, those guys were together with Triedge when I first met them on the Ida server. Triedge's friends, huh? But it still doesn't make sense. Why did Triedge attack Shino? What is it they want? We'll need to investigate that in detail. Including who exactly Triedge is. Hey. Aseo, what's wrong? I'm thinking we might have the wrong idea about all this. Wrong idea? What do you mean? I don't know. Maybe... Maybe we're not doing the right thing. I can't tell anymore. That doesn't matter to me. I'm here because you reached out and saved me once. And that's enough for me. I guess it won't do any good to question myself now. Well then, see you later. Bye bye Haseo! It's okay, Haseo. What we need to do 
is to just keep doing what we do best without even thinking about giving up. As long as we keep trying, the results will speak for themselves, right? Yeah, you're right. For now, anyway. Haseo! Kung! Pai! Adelie, how... Well, it looks like you've recovered. Yes! Once the match was over, the crack healed nicely, and so did my arm's paralysis. Thank you! Thank you so much, everyone! Congratulations. Sakaki! Oh, I'm sorry. Am I interrupting? What do you want? No need to bear your fangs like that, terror of death. I just wanted to say a word of thanks. Thanks for curing Adelie, I'm in your debt. That's all I have to say. Let's go, Adelie. Ah, uh, okay. Huh. So, I guess that's it for me too. Huh? You're going too, Adelie? I have work to do for Moon Tree. See you later. Hey, are you okay with this, Haseo? So we got a new weapon. This has been a long episode too, holy crap. Alrighty then. And the new weapon, well, I'm not gonna use that weapon, because it's not that great. But we have a new weapon, a new sword, a new bullcrap sword, with HP drain 10%. Yes please. You must be pretty shocked to get an email from me saying how I'm supposed to be dead. I wanted to. What? I... How did Philo send me up? I mean, he. Philo. Is that really you? Let's see. Theta bequeathed insatiable mysteries, huh? Philo must be someone from the anime that I've never watched. Huh. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end it here because, yeah, long episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.